Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? To lay down and be still and quiet? To try and relax? Maybe close your eyes? Grab a hold of your favorite teddy or snuggle into a big soft pillow. Whatever you need to do to try and be still and quiet while I tell you all about what happened with Heidi, Cherry and Vea. Monica came over. She'd not been over for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and the cats were super excited. She came over to read from the magical, magical book. She was going to take them on a very interesting adventure. The cats were ready. They were all sat quietly in front of her, listening as she opened the book and started to read. A long, long, long time ago, said Monica. Far, far away. So far away that it was actually three million years ago. (gasps) The cats all looked at each other, completely intrigued. They looked back at Monica. Shh, she said, be quiet, don't say anything. Just try and focus. Three million years ago and that was it the cat's noses started to twitch their ears and whiskers started to twitch they got tingles and shudders and little tickly feelings in their paws and then all of a sudden the cats found themselves out in the middle of nowhere It was like a dirt field. There was no grass. There was just big stones and maybe one or two very barren looking trees. There were mountains of rock all around that was like an orangey browny color. Cherry looked at Heidi and said, Where do you think we are? I wasn't expecting to end up here, were you? Did you? Where do you think we are? Vea, where are we? Vea looked around. Today she had on a very pretty yellow princess dress. The yellow princess dress had pink bows all around the bottom and she had a pink tiara on with pink long elbow length gloves. She was looking exceptionally pretty today. She looked around and said, Um, me, me don't know. Me just knows that this place looks very dirty. And me in a yellow dress may not be a good idea. Heidi said, Well, we know that we're like three million years ago somewhere. And then, all of a sudden, they heard this big horrendous sound. They all snuggled up together and tried to look around very quickly to see what they could hide behind. The sound was loud and it was ringing in their ears and it kind of went like like the big strong growl but it was stronger than a growl that they'd ever heard. Stronger than a growl that any of them could do themselves. They looked at each other really, really quickly and saw that there was a big, big, big rock. All three of them scurried over to the rock and hid behind the rock. They heard it again. And then they heard another one that was practically at the same time. Which meant... One thing, whatever it was, could not be roaring in two different times. So there must be two things, they thought. (gasps) They looked at each other. Cherry said, what on earth is that? OMG, I don't think I like this place. Why would Monica send us to a place where we could possibly get, like, ripped to shreds or something by some giant animal? Oh my goodness. Can we not just, like, tickle his noses and get the heck out of here? 
here, really, really quick, like tickle your nose, tickle your nose. And she started to rub the tip of her, her tail up her nose so it would tickle and make her sneeze. She sneezed three times, hatch, 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 and, and she still didn't leave. Oh, no, it didn't work. I was supposed to get out of here. Oh, how do you really, really scared? I mean, Rawr. the sound kept going on and on and on. Rawr. And then it sounded as if the roar was getting closer and closer. And then Heidi said, oh no, it sounds like it's getting closer. And then Cherry said, oh my gosh, what should we do? There's only a rock to hide behind. How can we hide? Where can we go? There's rocks, rocks, oh rocks. That's all there is. There's rocks. Everybody start to look around. Maybe we'll see what's roaring. And if we can see what's roaring, then we'll know what's coming to get us. And then if we know what's coming to get us, then I just don't know. I don't know what to do. Roar! Now it was really, really, really loud and it was right there. The cats peeked around the big giant rock that they were hiding behind. And it looked like a cat. But it wasn't an ordinary cat. This cat had the longest, biggest, like, front teeth that looked like giant horns or something coming out of its mouth and it was enormous it wasn't the size of a tiger or like a leopard or or a panther it was like 15 sizes bigger than that cherry just almost died she fell against the rock took a big deep breath and said i think i'm gonna think i think that's it i think i think i'd rather just faint and just like not see anything because because i think we're gonna all be dead any moment i think we're gonna get eaten by that big giant thingy whatever it is heidi said i think it's a saber-toothed tiger jerry said who cares who cares what is anyway how do you know what that is Heidi said, I've seen it in history books and, and it's, you know, the timing is about right. Saber-toothed tigers lived around the Stone Age. I bet we're in the Stone Age. And, and um, you know, there's also like humanoids that existed at this time. Humanoids? What are humanoids? They sound like they're like a, like some kind of giant humanic jellyfish or something. Heidi said, no, humanoids were like a type of person, like a type, like one of the beginning types of people. They called them homo sapiens or humanoids. Oh, gosh, said Cherry. Who cares, Heidi? This is not the time and place to be bragging about how much history you've learnt. Veya said, me agree, me agree. What does that help us? Me, me thinks you should just be quiet, Heidi. Heidi said, I'm just saying, I think it's a saber-toothed tiger. Well, in those history books, said Cherry, is there any clues on how you stop a saber-toothed tiger from ripping you to shreds? Did you read about that? Because that, that, Heidi, would be really, really helpful right now, don't you think? Rather than telling us, like, facts about humanoidoids and stuff like that, why don't you tell us facts about, like, how we can disappear? Or, or like, how we can feed it some berries or something so it doesn't eat us? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Heidi said, let me think, let me think. Um, no, no. I don't think I read anything about that. And the only other thing I read was they kind of made everything out of stones in the Stone Age, which, which means we could maybe throw a stone at it. What? Said Cherry. Throw a stone? It? Have you seen how blooming big it is? It's like, it's like as big as this. It's like, a, it's like, a, it's like as big as our apartment. How could we possibly throw a tiny little stone at it? And that would make a difference. We could try. Let's just try. Cherry started scurrying around on the floor and picking up all the little stones that she could possibly find. And she was throwing them from behind the rock. She could hear the raw. <laughs> getting louder and louder and louder as if it was right there now. Vea said, I love you both. Me, me just wants to say I love you both. And, and if we don't make it home, then then at least I look really pretty today in my, in my princess dress, don't you think? Heidi said, you look lovely, Vea. It's, it's a really nice way to 
be the end, looking as pretty as you do. Heidi said, I think I'd rather not have my glasses on. I'd rather not see this. And she took her upside down glasses off. Cherry said, oh no, that's right. And, I, and I'm going to ruin my newest t-shirt. I love this t-shirt. This one, this one has OMG in feathers all over it. And it's all fluffy and soft and I love it. And oh, darn it. The cats all just stood still. They grabbed hold of each other's paws and closed their eyes. They could feel whatever it was, whoever this big, giant, saber-toothed tiger was, breathing. They could feel the breath of this animal right there on their faces. All three of them stood with their eyes closed. Then they heard a voice that said, Roar! This blooming thing is stuck in my tooth. Heidi opened one eye. The saber-toothed tiger was right there in front of them. She closed it really quickly. She was thinking maybe if she couldn't see it, it would go away. He said it again. So won't get this thing out of my tooth. It's driving me bazookas. Cherry opened her eyes and stared at the saber-toothed tiger that was pawing at its mouth. It had got a thorn, a big thorn of one of the brambly bushes around here stuck in its front teeth. And it couldn't get it out. And it was pouring at its front teeth. <laughs> and its big giant claws were scratching at its teeth. Cherry said, Oh, I see, I see what you, I can see what you're trying to do. Uh, do you think, uh, do you think I could possibly help you? Yes, said the giant tiger. I have been like this for days and days and days and I can't get this giant thing out of my teeth. Cherry said, well, you, 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 you have to stay still because if you don't stay still then you could possibly eat me by mistake and my paw is so small at the side of your giant, giant teeth. But if, if I help you, can we kind of like make a deal or something that you won't eat us because cause I helped you? The saber-toothed tiger pawed once again. Rawr, 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 at its face, trying to get the thorn out of its front teeth. Anything, it said. I'll do anything, just get this thing out of my teeth. That's when Cherry said, okay, stay, stay, stay still. The giant cat stayed still. She put both of her paws together and gripped hold of the fawn with the little paws and then she wrapped her, her strong little nails around it and and <coughs> pull and it popped out of the saber-toothed tiger's teeth. <sighs> the tiger made like a big relieved sound. That thing's made up my teeth for I don't know how long and it's been driving me berserk. Cherry said, Well, you're welcome. And don't forget, you said you weren't going to eat us, right? Because we're not that tasty because we're only really quite small and like furry and stuff. And, and it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be very good if you eat us, don't you think? Because like, you know, she's all like prickly and stuff because she's wearing a tiara. And, 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 and Heidi's really old, so she might be like tough. She wouldn't taste very nice. And and I and I have like got feathers on and and stuff and and it and and feathers might get stuck in your teeth and that wouldn't be very good, would it? And I know we all have claws, like tiny little claws that could get stuck in your teeth and and uh, and bones. We have bones that could get stuck in your teeth and and if you eat us and you get like a bone stuck in your teeth and we're not here anymore, then who's gonna save you from weeks and weeks and weeks of being in pain because you've got something stuck in your tooth? The saber-toothed tiger said, 
<coughs> and it just decided to walk away. That's when Vea sneezed, Heidi sneezed, and Cherry sneezed, and they sneezed for real. Got tingly noses, tingly spines. They all three of them opened their eyes and found themselves back at home with Monica, and she closed the book. Cherry looked at Monica. OMG, Monica, that one was really intense. Did you know? Did you know that we were going to meet a saber-toothed tiger? Did you know that you sent us back to the Stone Age? Heidi said. Yes, we went back to the Stone Age, where everything was made of stone. Wheels, weapons, everything was made of stone. We didn't see any humanoids, but we did see a ginormous saber-toothed tiger, and it was very scary. Veo said, me was so scared. Me was so scared. Thank goodness Cherry saved the day. Heidi said, yes, Cherry definitely saved the day. Cherry tapped her little paws together at the front as if she was clapping for herself. Yes, yes, thank you very much. I saved the day. But, Monica, do us a favour. Don't ever send us back to somewhere that crazy because that was blooming scary, man. It was like really, 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 really scary and intense. We thought we were going to get eaten. How could that possibly be? A happy bath, bed, bed, uh, a happy, like, nighttime story, Monica. Next time, can we just go somewhere where there are fairies or unicorns or something, please? Monica giggled. Okay, cats, she said. Give me kisses, give me loves. I have to go home. I'll see you next time I come and read from the magical, magical book. Everybody get settled down. It's time for bed. Time to rest. Time to go to sleep. She kissed the cats. They said goodbye and they all snuggled down on their cat bed. To be honest, all three of the little hearts were still racing quite quickly. It was an intense adventure. Meeting a saber-toothed tiger that could have possibly eaten them all? But now that they were safe and they were back in their beds and they were talking about it, they managed to laugh a little bit. Cherry kept making fun of the tiger. No, I'm so... Get this thing out of my teeth! Heidi and Vea kept laughing. It was a very fun, cool adventure. But it was time for them to sleep. They snuggled into each other. The paws got heavy. The little legs got heavy. Their ears stopped twitching. Their whiskers stopped twitching. Each one of them closed their eyes. And started to fall to sleep.